pleasant meet everyone everyone meet pleasant hello my equestrian friends it's me lisa the budget equestrian welcome back to today's video and i think you can tell by the video's title that today i am introducing you to my new horse pleasant this is pleasant so if you're curious and you want to know a little bit more about him, Pleasant is a Dutch warm blood gelding. He has had an extensive career as a show hunter. He's been in different show barns and then the lady that I actually bought him from, her daughter showed him here in Colorado and then they just decided to keep him after his career was complete. And now her daughter has grown up and moved on and she was looking for a home for Pleasant which was how I came to be able to meet with him and find out if he would be a good match for me and for Frisbee. He is 16 too and he is big. Frisbee is about 16 hands but standing next to Pleasant Frisbee looks really small but that's okay, they seem to be getting along good and for me that's the most important thing. It's just kind of cool to have a horse that is this big. And like I said, I first learned about him from a really good friend of mine. She had heard that they were looking for a forever home for Pleasant and thought that I might be a good match. And they really wanted to make sure that he had a good home, that was first and foremost. So I went out and met him and it went really well and then that's how I got him. And like I shared with you a couple of videos ago about looking for a new horse and things to keep in mind, things to consider, I actually decided, you know what, I might as well follow my own advice. I know, shocker, right? But I made a list of must-haves, a list of things that I wanted in my next horse, as well as a list of deal breakers. And honestly, Pleasant checked off most of these boxes on the must-haves or wants, which was pretty neat. He is definitely a schoolmaster. He's been there, done that. He's calm and bonus, he is warm blood. Pleasant has experience jumping and he's also been to shows. Not necessarily that I'm planning on showing him, but knowing that he has the experience of what it's like to be a show horse or be on the grounds of a horse show means that he's seen a lot. But the most important part of me deciding on Pleasant was for Frisbee and Frisbee is the main deciding factor. I really wanted to find a friend for him to replace Ethan, but I wanted to make sure that the new horse and he were going to get along. I have to say that so far they seem to be doing really well together. And at this point in time, I'm keeping them separate. They won't be turned out for probably at least a week or so. Kind of play it by ear and see how it goes. But they seem to be getting along from the separate paddocks. And Pleasant came to me from a larger boarding facility and all of the horses were turned out together. So I think Frisbee and Pleasant will do pretty well um, being turned out together when we get to that point but I don't like to take chances and I like to go slow. So for right now, they're both gonna be in separate paddocks until I am 100% confident that they are going to get along. And you know, today it's a really nice day out and I really was thinking about riding Pleasant. I have ridden him, but at this point in time, I kind of decided, you know what, I'm just gonna wait. I'm not in any big hurry and I really wanna make sure that he is comfortable with where he lives. 
and all of the changes that he's gone through in the last couple of days. So I really want to make sure he's comfortable and happy in his new home, just as I'm as happy with him. And hopefully he feels the same way about me. We have plenty of time to ride this spring. And like I said, I really prefer to go slow, which so far has worked well for me with all of the other horses that I've had. I hope he is happy here. And I hope that we get to have him in our family for a very long time. That is it. That is a little information on Pleasant and you got to see him as well as Frisbee and see them just kind of hanging out together. Hopefully we'll have a lot more riding videos soon, but this is fine for me for now. And it makes me happy just to see both of the horses hanging out and just chilling. And it just makes my heart happy. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other DIY projects product reviews, and horse-related videos showing you how to make the most of the time that you have with your horse. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.